So today we're going to take a look at how to install the Java IDE IntelliJ for Windows and Mac OS. We'll start with Windows 11. So I go to Google or your favorite search engine and type in IntelliJ Community Edition Download. And inside of the search results, I will choose the one that gives me the option of downloading the Windows.exe version of not the ultimate version, but the Community Edition, which is basically the free version without the bells and whistles. So I download it in Windows 11. I've sped it up 10 times here, so it goes a little bit faster. And then I'll get something in my downloads folder that I double click on, and it'll ask me to install. So I click on Next, use the default file save location. And here I'm just going to select putting a shortcut on the desktop. I'm not gonna choose anything else on here. I don't really need to at this stage. So just a shortcut on the desktop, but if you don't like that, you don't have to do that. And then I will click on Next. And I'll just use the defaults. It will now extract everything and, and put it into the right place in my executable folder on Windows. I'm doing this on a little tablet. I've sped it up a little bit. And then from here, I will say that I want to run the IDE. So I'll run Community Edition version of IntelliJ. So I open it up, and you'll see it's the 2023.3 version, the last version released in 2023. I'll accept the terms and conditions, and I won't do the data sharing. Now I wait for this to show up, and I hit New Project. So I'll create my first Java project and I'll name it something like my first Java program. And then I have to install a Java development kit, a JDK. It's, there's none on there, so I have to download one. And you could use the Oracle one, or in my case, I tend to use the Adopt Open JDK or Eclipse Temerin version. It's version 21. And I'm downloading it. It'll install, it's installed, and I hit create. And now I get the project file window or the project menu window. And in here I have a sample program. It's just hello world. And uh, oh, and I get a little warning saying I have to modify Microsoft Defender, the antivirus on Windows 11. Um, let me see. Yeah, I could do it manually, but really I'm just gonna click on the automatically button that you see down here. So in the lower right-hand corner, just click on automatically to allow for the Java program to run and that it won't be blocked by Microsoft Defender. Okay, so it's basically now indexing the Java development kit and I'm just about ready once it's finished indexing or setting that up. Almost there, almost there. Okay, Microsoft Defender is okay. And up at the top, there's a little green triangle that has appeared to allow me to run. So I'm now gonna run the program. So this is my little Java program. It'll build it. You can see down here at the bottom, it's building it. And we're almost done. It'll run it as soon as it's built. And you'll see the result on the bottom left in a moment. There we go, bottom left. Hello and welcome, I is equal to one, two, three, four, five, done. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take a look at the same thing, but with the Intel version of Mac OS. So on an older Apple MacBook Air. Okay, so I'm going to install on Mac OS Intel version. So some of you may have one of these older laptops. And same thing, I go using Google to IntelliJ and I'm going to download the Intel version of the DMG installation file. So I download that. I'm again, speeding this up because it took a little while on my old MacBook Air. And then I go into the downloads folder click on the DMG, compressed file, and I drag 
the application into my applications folder. Just like that. And it copies it over. You need about two and a half gigabytes of space on your drive for this. It's a big program. And it downloads it and places it in the applications folder. And in here you can see it's over there on the right. I'm going to drag it into my dock because I like having programs like this in my dock. Click on it. It will open up the IntelliJ program. All right, so, yep, I want to verify or I want to say that it's a good program. And I'm running it. Again, it's an older Apple laptop here, so it's a little slow. I agree to the terms and conditions. Hit continue. No data sharing. And then we're going to start a new program a new Java program inside of IntelliJ. So I go to a new project, just like in Windows, right there. And I'm going to call the project my first Java program. And I have to take a look at the JDK. It's in red down there. There's no software development kit for Java. So I have to download one, just like I had to in Windows. And I'm going to choose the Eclipse Tamarin from Adopt Open. I could have chosen one of the other ones as well. They're basically identical for our intents and purposes. I tend to use the uh, open version of the Java development kit. So it's installing. I've sped this up because it takes a while on this older machine. And I've set add sample code as the default so it'll create a sample program for you it'll be hello world as a sample program just so you can get started without having to do much work just to verify that your installation is okay so it's taking a little while here it's opening it up it's creating the main.java file inside and there we go it looks just like on the windows version All right, so now I have to wait because my computer's a little bit old and, and I didn't know what was going on at first, but what was actually going on was it was indexing the Java development kit and I couldn't execute, I couldn't build it. But finally, the green triangle at the top shows up. I click on it and it will build the program. This little Java program here. It's gonna verify the JDK in the background as a security measure more or less like what Windows did as well with Windows Defender. And now that's verified, it's still building. And it will run it in, in the lower left corner, just like in Windows, you will see the program execute. There we go. It says hello and welcome, i is equal to one, two, three, etc. Okay, let's do the same thing on Apple Silicon. So I've got an M3 Pro and I'm gonna do the search and you'll see this is a lot faster. Brand new laptop. And I'm going to do the same download IntelliJ Community Edition DMG Apple Silicon. And it downloads. Switch over to the downloads folder. You can see right there. My internet's not faster in this case. It's just that the, uh, the rest of the installation will go faster than on the other two machines. So once it's downloaded, I will do exactly the same thing as I did on the um, Apple Intel version and the Windows 11 version. I'll basically be able to take the sample program that IntelliJ can create for me and I will run it. That's all I'll do. I don't have to know anything about the grammar or syntax of Java. I don't have to know anything about it, just that I'm going to click the triangle. All right, so there's the installation file. I drag it into applications. Go into the applications folder, drag it onto the dock. Yeah, right there. Click on it. And it will open up. Yep. I say yes, it's okay. I say yes to the terms and conditions. No to the data sharing. New project. 
I'm going to say my first Java program. And if you take a look, the JDK actually has one already in there. That's because I have MATLAB installed on this machine. But I will install a new version of the JDK. Again, the Eclipse Tamarin version for Apple, the ARCH64, for Apple Silicon, because I want the fastest possible JDK optimized for my machine. So it's downloading it. Almost there, almost there. So there we go, set to go. Here's the sample program. It'll be indexed in just a second. There we go, green triangle, click, run, done. The Apple Silicon machines are a lot faster. All right, so there you go, it's executed. Difference in time, took about seven minutes on the Dell, eight minutes on the Intel, two and a half minutes on the Apple Silicon. Good luck, everyone.